It's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China, here with my assistant Xiao to demonstrate a drill that I use a lot to teach angles and footwork for boxing. It's very simple. You square up with your partner like this, and the objective, Xiao, turn this way ever so slightly, the objective is to take the palm of your hand and touch your partner's back. Touch him right between the shoulders, not hit, just touch him, okay? Now, his objective is exactly the same. Touch me on the back, right between the shoulders. Why does that matter for boxing? Well, I'll tell you. Here, focus a little bit on the whole body. So we're squared up like we're boxing. Let's say, hold that position for just a second, right? Yeah. If I get in a position to touch him on the back, look what else I'm in position to do. I'm in a position to land all of these shots at the perfect angle. Or maybe I get this angle where I'm in a position to touch his back, to touch right between the shoulder blades. What am I in position for? Right hook, left uppercut, straight right at this perfect angle right on the side of the chin. You'll notice right away, as soon as we start this drill, here, play with me a little bit, touching the back. You might notice, oh, if I just cut that angle, what happens? He changes position. Exactly. He's done this before, he's gonna square up, right? He's out oh, I'm orthodox. So we gotta use some fake, some things. Maybe I'll show him the back. And I'll go under there. Right, you can work your bobbing and weaving into this as well. You can also try to manage distance, bait him to come in a little closer so you can cut the angles. Now, try not to get disappointed if it doesn't happen right away, right? Because you might spend five minutes doing this thing before you finally get that first boom, clean touch on the back, that first clean angle. But that happens all the time in boxing. Um, when was it? A couple of years ago, Lomachenko, Vasil Lomachenko had this fight. He went, I think it was a 12-round fight, maybe, maybe 11. But it was a long fight. It was like 30 minutes of boxing before Lomachenko finally got that perfect angle and you know, right down the center line, or right off the center line, I should say. And everybody fixated on that highlight reel moment, that last 10 seconds of glory, ignoring the 30, 30 minutes of work that led up to that. So, again, I like to do this drill in the gym here, play with me a little bit more, because it teaches some very important principles. Always squaring up with your opponent if he gets an angle on you, while trying to make an angle on him, right? It'll teach you how to use footwork patterns, your pivots, right, your fakes, your feints more efficiently. Like let's say, for example, I want to touch him with my right hand right here, okay? But I move over here like, here it's coming, Xiao, here it's coming. Oh, he won't give it to me, okay? So here, come over here a little bit. So maybe... I start reaching over here, right? Train him in this idea. This is where I want to attack. Of course, he's going to vent. He's going to block. I'm coming over here, Shao. I'm coming over here, right? I'm coming over. Oh, just kidding. And we can get him behind. Okay? So, one more time. Let's play touch the back. So, again, this is a... I think he got me right there. This is a way where you have something at risk but you're not going to lose brain cells in this drill. You're not going to take any hits to the head in search of that perfect angle. All right? But we want to build the correct footwork and our muscle memory to get those shots from those perfect angles. Okay? Try that one out at home. Try it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. If you like the gear I wear in my videos, go check out nogibjjgear.com. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. Rash guards, spats, shorts, and more at nogibjjgear.com.